Before I call this meeting to order, I would like to note for the record that I will serve as the acting chairman of the meeting. I would now call the, to order the meeting of the members of the New York Job Development Authority for Wednesday, August 1st, 2018. The members have received the written materials in advance of this meeting and are free to ask questions at any time. I'd like to note we welcome public comment and our agenda items. To ensure maximum opportunity for participation, speakers representing themselves may speak to two minutes, up to two minutes, and speakers representing groups may speak up to four minutes with one speaker group per group. Speakers' comments may only address the items being considered. Of the meeting, I will ask whether anyone has potential comments of interest with respect to the items on the agenda. If so, I ask that you make a appropriate disclosure on the record at this time and we'll be sure to remind you to recuse yourself from any discussion or vote with regard to such item. Uh, my understanding is that we will not be considering the minutes today as they are not yet prepared uh, or finalized so we'll be doing that at, at the next meeting uh, and from the last month's meeting. Um, Hearing no uh, conflicts, I would now call upon Sean Malone to present the only item on today's agenda, which relates to the request for authorization to make a real estate loan from the JDA proceeds to Cold Point Corporation. Sean Malone, take it away. Good morning. Thank you, Kevin. Cold Point Corporation, located in Rome, New York, is requesting a $2,231,010 JDA loan for the construction of a 50000 excuse me, 50,000 square foot advanced manufacturing facility on the former Rome Cable Complex 3 Brownfield site. The total project cost is $4,468,350. The company, founded in 1999, specializes in the design and manufacture of water source heat pumps, packaged terminal air conditioners and condensing units, as well as packaged heat pumps and air conditioners for direct replacement, renovation, and new construction. Units are manufactured under the Cold Point and Adirondack Air brand name. Cold Point has identified the need for a new facility to increase growth, facilitate the addition of a new manufacturing line and additional warehouse space for improved use. Since 2017, Cold Point has been a wholly owned subsidiary of the Whalen Company located in Easton, Maryland. Whalen is a leader in the commercial heating and conditioning industry, comprising 12% of market share in North America. The project, known locally as Project Blue Crab, is a central component of the Rome DRI, from which it has been awarded a $450,000 grant and is expected to generate much-needed employment and growth opportunities in a distressed portion of the state. Remediation of the vacant site has garnered significant public support over the past several years, and the project is expected to result in the retention of 37 jobs, as well as the creation of an additional 18 in the near term. Based on the 1A plus rating, Cold Point currently generates sufficient cash flow from operations to service the projected debt, with a projected DSCR that meets JDA's minimum standard of 1.2, and default risk based on the company's performance over the three-year historical period is low. Also, revenue growth has been strong and cash flow projections indicate that the company will be able to service the debt going forward. In addition, JDA will have a second lien position on the real estate collateral, expected to appraise at $4.5 million, and will receive a corporate guarantee from Whalen. Thus, the JDA to be collateral. Happy to take any questions. Sean, any questions or comments from the members with regard to this item? I have one question. Um, the lien, is, it's a second lien on the real estate, correct? Yes. So it's subordinate to the first lien. Correct. And, and I'm just looking at the risk analysis. The facility is less than expected. So the question I have is if you know, in case of default, um, since this is second, uh, the second lien to the first lien, um, what is the expectation in terms of recovery, given the fact that this is second lien and there is concern about the value of the, of the real estate being less than 3.5 million? Well, the project is yet to start, so I believe the 4.5 expected appraisal um, is after the, the construction and the remediation of the property. In addition, um, the uh, borrower is uh, creating a new heat pump product that is expected to generate a significant deal of revenue. Um, so our financial analyst who uh, isn't isn't with us today uh, was pretty confident with that. Um, we, we expect that, but the in conversations with the bank, 
Development Corporation that's involved in the project, they expect the appraisal to be at 4.4, which gives us collateral coverage between uh, nine, we got more than 9% loan value on this, so we're good. If the building appraises at 4.4. And to help a little, I think, the guarantee from the It's guaranteed from the parent yes. company. That one's also put, providing a guarantee. I saw a guarantee for this company, which has a fair financial condition. Only, but that fair financial condition is only really attributed to what the company Wayland has done in help to first to purchase Cold Point, because Wayland purchased Cold Point. Um, and it invested a, a, a significant amount of money to bring the company <coughs> where it be from the Wayland's point of view. And now this project, moving it from its current location to its existing to its new location, is also going to kind of affect the cash flow that the parent company has. But the parent company now is in the process of having a new product that they expect will allow them to grow their sales exponentially. They there right now they think that this product, which will allow them to service mm -hmm. not just not for profits but for profit um, organizations, and and also raise their footprint to the type of building they are currently. Service. Right now, the building is servicing are only four stories high. With this new product, it will allow them to go to higher story buildings. So the expectation is that my question is that sort of the collateral is the lien actually on the real estate, or is it on one page it says it's on the fee uh, interest of the premises uh, located? So is the lien on the actual real estate, or what does the fee interest of the premises the, mean? The, the, from my understanding, the fee interest pertains to the property, to the to the to the land and improvements, and the uh, actual lien is on the property. Now, there's the IDA pilot involved, so there are there are complications with the pilot. Uh, normally, we have to negotiate with the pilot and and with the IDA, so we support in a uh, superior position to their pilot. Which today we have no issues. Some of the uh, ideas have given us some issues, but not turning. Are there any do. personal guarantees? No. The owner of this company um, passed away many years ago, so the company is now in the hands of and the trust is owned 98 percent by the Whalen family. Thank you. Any further comments or questions? If not, I would entertain a motion for approval. Uh, motion to move. Second. 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 All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. The motion carries. Being no further business, may I have a motion to adjourn this meeting? Motion to adjourn.